I guess you'll have to have a little bit of faith in this case as well. If I told you this was a uterus, you might doubt it, but it is, even though it doesn't look like a uterus and it's not really oriented well, so I don't know how it was cut. But you will notice that the whiter, more uniform areas like here and here and here probably represent smooth muscle, whereas these more brownish uh, hemorrhagic areas uh, is probably more uh, that look a little bit shinier like mucus is probably more of a glandular area and the areas like this which appear like they are uh, very much a mixture of the two could be both glandular tissue and connective tissue this is a classical appearance for an invasive adenocarcinoma a lot of a mixture of both the more gelatinous mucusy glandular stuff as well as perhaps the firmer uh, whiter connective tissue stuff. So let's take a look under the microscope. And sure enough, you could see areas here that look like they're predominantly smooth muscle. And you could see area here that look predominantly glandular. And you can see areas here that looks like it's a mixture of both. So where do you want to start? Let's start over here because the nice, normal, juicy stuff is always nice to start. Here's a normal smooth muscle here, but Notice even in the area that looked normal, you see this little infiltrative nests of darker bluer cells, which upon close inspection look like they uh, have vacuoles in them and could very well be glandular. Let's go to an area that the other area that was predominantly glandular, and sure enough it is. You can see a little bit of stroma between the glands, but often you see the glands back to back against other glands and the nuclei are as malignant as all hell. You can see mitosis, dark cells, big cells, lumpy cells, nasty cells. In addition, you can see here and here and here, little clusters of um, neutrophils, probably where there is some uh, necrosis. Now let's go to the third area in which there was a more mixture of tumor and smooth muscle, and there certainly is. Here's some smooth muscle here. Here's some tumor here. Here's some tumor here. Here's a little bit of smooth muscle here. Here's some smooth muscle here. Here's tumor here. Let's take a look at this lesser differentiated area. We know this is an adenocarcinoma because we saw some clear cut areas of glands. But if you look at an area like this that doesn't really form glands, but definitely looks very dark and malignant, and there's probably an abnormal mitosis over here then you could say this is part of it as well. And even though you don't see glands here, you do see definitely clearly glandular structures here. So you could just call this a poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma of the endometrium diffusely invading the myometrium because that's what it is. Thank you very much.